just what's the feeling after that one? It seems like as the game went on, your team got a lot better and just that short. Yeah, it's uh, it's crazy how close you know these two teams are, and I think the fans are in for a heck of a next few weeks. So it's two great teams, and uh, it's a game of inches. So we had our looks and a couple pipes. So and then on the the game winning goal, just that's hockey. I mean, it deflects right there, and mm -hmm. yeah, just how did you see it? Yeah, just a, a bounce. You know, that went their way. We had a couple that didn't go our way, and. Hockey, so I'm just proud of the, the effort that the guys gave. You know, losing path like that and um, just bouncing back and responding. It shows the guys that we have in that room. So tight game, um, two good teams, and it's going to be going to be a heck of a series. Uh, that moment with with Joe. Just what did you what did you feel first of all about the hit, and then secondly, just the impact that it had after the game or afterwards. Yeah, I mean. I don't want to get started about, you know, that other stuff. Just I'm proud of how the guys, you know, it just it wasn't great. And, you know, just let those two teams play, in my opinion, you know. Kind of felt like it took over, it took away from the game a little bit. And, you know, I haven't seen it closely from from what I saw. It looked like a major penalty. And, um, you know, I'll look at it, and I don't think my opinion is going to change. So. It's tough. You lose your leader like that, you know, guy we need to a cheap shot like that, and uh, it's tough. So hopefully he's not, you know, hurt too bad, and um, we can use it as motivation to help us. How were you able to just kind of come into this just as, I mean, you, you did it last year as well, but just it, it seemed like it didn't really take you any time to adjust to playoff hockey or anything like that? Yeah, I just, you know, you just want to be in these moments, and um, this is the fun time of year, you know. It's... You grind all season long, and there's ups and downs, and hard times, and great times, and this is where you get to lay it all on the line, and and uh, you know test your best, and you know try to be a difference maker for your team. So, you know, we lost a tight one tonight, and uh, you know we're gonna flush it and, and move on pretty quick, and uh, just everyone wants to get back ready for game two. Did you think your team didn't have its best game early, and Minnesota sort of had the upper hand for about two periods, and then you guys sort of took over the game? Yeah, I think that's fair to say. I think, uh, but I think once we found our game, I think we completely dominated. You know, it really felt like we were going to get that that overtime goal and a couple of posts, like I said, you know, deflection here and there, and just seemed like we couldn't buy one. So it's it's that close, and it's going to be like that this whole series. The teams are so evenly matched, and they're a great team. So it's going to be a heck of a series. Just what's the feeling right now? That was a that was a hard game. Yeah, no, that's that's playoff hockey to a T. Um, obviously, they played really well. Um, Got to give them credit, but uh, as a group, I think we got better as the game went on, and um, just a couple bounces could have went either way. Um, so, I mean, that's hockey, but uh, we'll regroup. Did a lot of good things tonight, and uh, build on that for sure. Can you take us through the Pavelski sequence? Just you know, what did you see on that hit, and then and then you know the reaction afterwards as well. Uh, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> if you watched the game, you probably saw the same thing I did. Um, when one of your best players goes down like that, it's just that's that's hockey. So, um, hope Joey's okay. Um, I mean, to be honest with you, I didn't really see the actual hit real time. Uh, just saw Joe lying there, and uh, you never want to see your teammate, especially a guy like that, down there. Is is it hard to understand how you get the five-minute call and then they review it and they take it down to two minutes? Um, hey, honestly, that's 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 not our job. That's the ref's job, and um, just got to trust that they're going to make the right call. So, whatever they saw, they saw and uh, made the review. But um, I mean, hey, that was again. It's just it's part of the game, I guess, to to some extent. Um, injuries happen, and uh, guys get hit. That's playoffs, especially against a team like that. So, um, I thought our team did a really good job of answering. And um, like I said, as the game went on, we got much much better. And uh, I mean. Jake was unbelievable tonight, so could have went either way in overtime. Um, and, uh, yeah, got to build on it now. What does that moment also kind of do just from a emotional standpoint, but then also X's and O's in terms of the line shuffling and everything that kind of went on afterwards? Um, yeah, exactly. When, when one of your players goes down, um, I mean, other guys are going to have to step up. And uh, I think you've seen with this group, even long before I got here, guys have been doing that um, all year. I mean, Guys are playing up and down the lineup, and um, more ice time, 
obviously for certain guys, and I thought a lot of guys did, did a lot of great things when they did that. So, um, you know what? I mean, again, overtime game can go either way, and um, there's a lot of good things that happened tonight, and we'll just keep building on that.